Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day and hello from home. But we're about to hop in the car because today is going to be a very fun, a very exciting, what? a very <laughs> thrilling day over at the Universal Orlando Resort because oh, we are celebrating a huge milestone, yes. 150,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Yay, we did it. Thank you guys so very much. I know it may not sound like a lot to some, but to us, it means the world. And Absolutely. We're very grateful. We and love each blessed. and every one of you. Yes, we do. So <laughs> last night, because I had no idea, Bianca actually told me and she said, you know, babe, you hit it. Let's do something locally that we've never done before. So I thought about it. She had no idea, but I booked us a room at the Hard Rock at I Universal know. Orlando. I woke up this morning to an amazing email. Surprise. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so dang excited. And this is the hotel at Universal Orlando. I think the Hard Rock and Portofino Bay are like the best of the best. Absolutely. And we get express passes included. That's right. I forgot about included. that. Included. I'm excited. And right now, as a pass holder, they are having amazing discounts. And I actually got up to 45 percent off this stay wow. i'm only paying 300 dollars to stay the at hard the hard rock? rock and that's like the price of like art of animation at disney wow can't believe it i want to well check-in isn't until 4 p.m it's about 12 30 right now so yeah. we are going to try to check in early if not we're just going to drop our bags off pick up our express passes and go hit the parks and ride some rides Yay. work up a sweat come back to the hotel check Get in butter. Vegan butterbeer. <laughs> Vegan butterbeer. <laughs> Come back, check in, and hop in the pool. I have always wanted to enjoy the pool at the Hard Rock. Are you ready? I'm ready, babe. I'm ready. I hope you guys are. Let's, Let's go, go do, do this. this. Wow. Look at this. I can't believe we're here. We get to park, which by the way, parking was $28 per day. Welcome, please take, welcome. All right. please we just parked, but I really appreciate how Universal has electric vehicle parking here and you can charge your cars and they have Tesla superchargers over there as well. Ooh, they're already playing some really good music, but the plan is we are going to go to the main lobby see if our room is ready and if it's not at least pick up our i think they just give us room keys but they have our express passes on those keys i could be wrong but we'll find out and then we're gonna go to the parks enjoy the parks for a few hours and then come back to enjoy this beautiful hotel oh babe they have the palm restaurant here which is a really good steakhouse we should see if they offer room service maybe yes. i would love that I would too. I love this main lobby. It smells absolutely amazing in here. And there's the main entrance right here. And then over here, they offer luggage services. You can rent a car and purchase your Universal tickets. Great news, our room was actually ready a lot sooner than expected. So that's just wonderful news because like I said, normal check-in isn't until 4 p.m. It's a little after 1.30 p.m. So that's just outstanding. I did find out that we can't order room service from the Palm, but we can call ahead, walk down there and pick it up and bring it back to the room. So more great news. And then a very kind team member checked us in. Her name was Paige and she gave us these I'm celebrating buttons at Universal because we're celebrating 150K. Yay! We have made it up to our room. Let's show you the place. We are on the sixth floor. This is a standard double queen room, but we have a really great view. Right here, you have your front door, and then you have your closet space. We have our luggage in there right now. You have an ironing board, an iron, hangers, a pillow, and a blanket. Also, here in the closet, you can find a Bible and a hair dryer. And then down here, you have a safe. They offer laundry services. And then you have a little coffee nook with a key rig, some glasses, an ice bucket, everything you need to make coffee. And then down here, you have your mini refrigerator. Across the way, you can find the bathroom space. There's <laughs> Bianca. Hi, hello. It's beautiful. It's really nice. I love the lighting behind the mirror. Yeah. And it has a cute bath mat. How cozy. Love that. I've never seen hotels have that, right? You know, I can think of one Not other hotel. Often. And that's the Waldorf Astoria. Oh, that's right. And then you can find it here at the Hard Rock. <laughs> and then they have really? drumsticks here on the wall. And then here's the sink. Oh, there's two sinks. 
That'll come in handy. Yes, it will. You have two more glasses. Yes. You have your shower cap, body lotion, and cotton swabs right there. Nice touch. And then here's the rest of your bathroom. There's your toilet, your additional sink with a mirror, plenty of towels, and I mean, just a standard shower. I was kind of expecting a little bit more with the shower, but it's still nice. You have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, your clothesline, if you have wet clothes, Here's the tub, and here's the rest of the room. These two beds look very comfortable. I also like the theming in here. It's very like peace and love and rock star themed. And then here in the middle, you can find your telephone and a JBL speaker with two outlets and one USB port, two more lights and a mirror in the middle. And then both sides of the headboards have additional reading lights if you want to read at night. And then over here, you can find your TV with your dresser. This room does have a joining room. There's the thermostat. And then over here, you have a very spacious office desk space, or you can use it as a vanity. You have more outlets and another USB port right there. And then over here, this hotel does have room service, which is very nice. And then was the song of our stay because this hotel plays incredible music. So if you have a favorite song, put it right there. Oh, this is actually a postcard that you can take with you. And then you have two more chairs and a table, another light, and then here's our view. I think we got pretty lucky with this theme park view. I can hear the sounds coming from the park right now. That is the ET show building. And then we can see the dragon on top of Gringotts Bank inside of Dagon Alley. I'm sure we will see the dragon blow fire, which is cool. And then if there was a nighttime show with fireworks, we could see the fireworks from our room. And then over here, that's the mummy and the Transformers ride. This is awesome. Bianca just showed me this mirror because it has the heights of different celebrities like Elvis Presley, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z. We've got Beyonce, which I'm like the same height as her, 5'6". Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna, Lady Gaga. Wow. There are two Fiji water bottles inside of the room, but you do have to pay for them. They are $7.50 each. I did find out that our room keys act as our Universal Express unlimited passes as well, which means we could ride the attractions as many times as we want other than Hagrid's, you cannot use express passes on Hagrid's, but now you can use them on the VelociCoaster and everything else. And these are included at no additional cost. And we're only staying here for one night and we can use our passes both today and tomorrow all day. A quick change of plans because we were able to check in a lot sooner and we already unpacked. I think we are going to go to the parks a little later in the evening because we just want to enjoy as much as we can of the Hard Rock Hotel. And now we are going to go down to the pool, get some food, suntan, and just enjoy, enjoy, the, sun. enjoy the sun poolside here at the Hard Rock and then go to the parks later this evening when it's not so hot. I switched over to my phone for just a little bit while we're down here enjoying the pool. Here we are. The pool hours are from 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. This is so dang nice. They have life jackets if you need and ice water. Looks like they have fruit water as well. And you just grab your towels and go enjoy your day. Our first stop is here at the beach club, which is poolside. We're here to order drinks and food. I got a Mai Tai and a water and Bianca got a Coke. This is a nice spot. It's shaded, there's fans, and there's the actual bar right there with TVs. Cheers to 150,000 subscribers, babe. <laughs> Cheers, babe. This is so nice because there's a live DJ and he's playing great music. Yes. Our food is here. We just ordered appetizers today for lunch. This is the chipotle chicken flatbread. And then we also ordered the steak quesadillas. Well, the food was delicious, but we're still celebrating a round of chilled tequila shots. What a nice day. We're just out enjoying the sunshine, the music in the pool taking in the beauty of this hotel. It's so crazy to think that Universal Studios Florida 
is just right over there. Check this out. You can order food and drinks directly to your lounge chairs by scanning this QR code at each of the different chairs from the beach club. Look at this chandelier. It's made out of saxophones. Throughout the lobby here, they have portraits of some of the different celebrities like Britney Spears, Usher, and Shakira. I honestly don't remember what that last clip was because for the last few hours, we've just been down poolside enjoying life and we really enjoyed our food and drinks that we got from the beach club. It was very good and then we made our way back to the room, but before we could even enter the room, we went to go scan our room keys and it was not working. Like the door was not opening, it was flashing red. So we had to walk back down to the main lobby to let the team members know what was going on. And then a manager actually walked us back up here to see what was going on. He went to go scan his room key and it was not working for him either. We later found out that it was, the battery was dead on the room key reader. So that was fun, but the customer service here at Hard Rock is very good like they are so nice and he did give us some drink vouchers that we can enjoy later on so that was very nice we had to wait around for like 10 or 15 minutes while they fixed the door and then we're back in the room now so i think we're just going to relax for a little bit maybe take a quick cat nap and then i think we are going to walk over to universal studios florida tonight and then tomorrow head over to islands of adventure i did learn something new today and i want to mention it to you guys because using this room key at all of the universal hotels is very convenient and very easy because you can literally charge everything back to your room account not only here at the hotel but at both universal theme parks Volcano Bay and City Walk. You can literally charge everything back to your room and you don't even need to carry your wallet. And that's nice. I did not know that. We did fall asleep for just a little bit. And then I looked at the Universal Studios Orlando app. Universal Studios Florida, that park closes at 7 p.m. So we need to get over there because it's just about 5.45 p.m. And then Islands of Adventure, that park closes at 9 p.m. So we still have a little bit of time and I just feel like the parks are closing a little early because it is the slower season right now right before the summer rush starts with summer vacation. Now we have two options on how we get over to the parks. We can either wait for a water taxi or we can walk down via this walkway right over to the parks and it will take us between five to eight minutes. And this right here having the convenience to just walk over to the parks that's what you're paying for by staying here on top of getting the included Express Unlimited passes. You just can't beat it because location is everything. But we did decide to walk just because it's five minutes away. There are plenty of signs pointing you in the right direction. There's one of the water taxis going by right there. And we can already see the Universal Archway right there. Another perk, you have your own security checkpoint. That was exactly a five minute walk and here we are about to enter Universal Studios Florida. So I did stop by the Universal Express booth at the front of the park as soon as you walk in and I did ask the team member, how much is the unlimited pass going for today? And just for one person, $218 and that's just about what I paid just for the room and we have Express today and tomorrow. Crazy. Passing by VillainCon Minion Blast and look at Minion's Cafe. It is really starting to come together. More scrim has been removed and even more scrim is starting to be removed over on the other side. It's looking good. Our first attraction this evening brings us here to Revenge of the Mummy, my personal favorite. We waited maybe like two minutes. That ride was so much fun. It never gets old. I know, this ride really is iconic to Universal Studios. I love it. It is. Welcome to Diagon Alley. It is so insane that we can see this dragon from our hotel room, but next up, let's go have a ride on Escape from Gringotts. The standby line has a 15 minute wait, so it looks like we'll get right on. This place is pretty empty. There's not a lot of people in here right now. We got well, so don't let me keep you from your tour. I just need to pick up a few things and I'll be on my way. Oh my goodness, we got to ride back to back times on Escape from Gringotts because when we got back from our first ride, the team members were like, you guys can stay on if you want because there was nobody in queue to ride next. So that was incredible. The park is about to close in the next 90 seconds. 
so I don't know what we are going to do next, but the night is still young. Dang, the Leaky Cauldron just closed, so we can't get a vegan butterbeer today. I mean, we could go over to Islands if we decide to do that, but if not, we'll probably be here tomorrow. Whoa, Universal is doing something inside of the lagoon currently and getting ready for their new nighttime show. The park is officially closed and everybody is making their way to the exit. Hopefully not over to Islands because I think we are going to walk over there. If it looks busy, I think we are just going to enjoy City Walk for a little bit. It is 7.20 in the evening and it looks like a good amount of people made their way over here to Islands which is okay. I think we are just going to walk around City Walk because we want to come here in the morning to enjoy this park. With Cinco de Mayo coming up, looks like City Walk is going to be celebrating this holiday on Friday, May 5th from 1 p.m. until 1 a.m. Free admission, you get live music, a DJ, dancing, exclusive food, and drink offerings. We have been craving Cinnabon, so this is going to be our next stop for a before dinner treat. Oh my heavens, babe. It smells so good in here. What are we going to get this time? Center of the roll. Center of the roll. Yes. Let's do it. We are up here on the second level now because I found a pair of these red chairs up here by the Red Coconut Club. There's nothing going on here. I think they will be doing something for summer. I'm not sure, but if not, Halloween is next. We were going to possibly go over to like Bob Marley's, but there's a private event going on right now. Anyways, we got the center of the roll. Look at that ooey gooey goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was delicious. That was so decadent. You have to try this. <laughs> it's just such a great treat to have. If you have never tried the center of the roll from Cinnabon, go do it. Yeah. Not going to lie, Voodoo Donuts is very tempting right now. I think because a good portion of City Walk is blocked off right now due to a private event, we are just going to walk back over to the hotel. But I wanted to show you how close we are. Again, that is the front archway that will lead you into Universal Studios Florida. You have the globe right here. There's the walkway, and that's the hotel right there. The sun is setting right now, but I know I've already brought up how convenient it is by staying at the Hard Rock, but something that just keeps popping into both of our heads. Imagine staying here during Halloween Horror Nights. Again, with that convenience of just leaving your room, walking steps over to the park to enjoy HHN. You can enjoy your adult beverages, you can stay out late, and just walk right to your hotel room. I mean, it really can't get better than that. Not only is this walkway for the Hard Rock guests, but if you're staying over at Lowe's Portofino Bay, you will use this walkway as well. Back at the hotel, and we stop inside of the Rock Shop to look at some merchandise. I really do like these classic Hard Rock Hotel t-shirts. Does anybody still collect these shirts? And they have hoodies. This is a cool shirt with this motorcycle and it says Orlando. Also here inside of the rock shop they have chips, water, and phone cables if you forgot your cable at home. They also have pretty much everything if you need any medicine or makeup remover like Bianca, <laughs> medical mask, they have playing cards, hairbrushes, candy, and then over here they have more beverages for purchase. I just found out if you are a guest staying here, you can walk to the front desk and they have a book filled with different guitars that you can order and they will drop it off to your room. They'll just put a hold on your account just in case if you smash it or anything. But once you bring it back, they will take the charge off of your account. Something pretty clever and neat and unique that you can do here at the Hard Rock. Here on level six, as soon as we get off the elevator, we have one of James Brown's outfits here on display. Back in the room, enjoying some NBA playoffs. This view is pretty wild with the sunset. I love the Florida sunsets. They're absolutely beautiful. But right there in the middle of your screen, again, that is the dragon from Green Gots Bank where we just were. Well, about an hour or so has passed by. We're just laying down, relaxing, watching the NBA game. And uh, we want to order food. So I called down to the Palm because I want food from the Palm. I really like that restaurant. And when I called down there, I was told you can only order food online through their website. So we went to the website and the thing that we wanted was not offered, which was the surf and turf. 
Bianca wanted the steak, I wanted the lobster tail, and I can't order that online, which kind of, it really does stink because that's what it I wanted. The purpose of yeah. Stay in your room right. and just enjoy that luxury having it come to your room, but it's okay. So instead, we just talked it over. <laughs> We're just going to order room service. Yay, we love room sir, service. It's the best. Ditto. I love room <laughs> service too. It makes me feel like I'm back on a cruise ship. I think I'm going to order chicken tenders. Bianca is going to order a burger. Yes. And maybe another sweet treat. I don't know why we've been on a oh sweet gosh, treat no kick lately. Because we've been dieting very well lately, but you know, we're on a staycation. We're going to let loose a little bit. Room service is a little expensive. I just want to throw that out there, but it is worth it because of the convenience. They bring it right to your room. They add a 22% service charge with another $3 delivery fee of some kind, but it's worth it to us. We get to stay in bed, watch more of the game, and just enjoy the room as much as we can while we get food delivered. I wanted to quickly show you some of the menu if you want to order room service. As far as what's on the menu and pricing, this should give you a good idea. They have a hamburger and a few sandwich options. They have pizza and here's the kids menu. They call them the little rockers. And then you have the main entrees. They have a grilled New York strip steak for $46. Pretty pricey, but it's still nice that you can order that directly to your room. And then over here, they have some desserts. I think the Hard Rock is pet friendly because look at this. <laughs> they have an all day pet dining menu. Coffee and tea and refreshments. Finally, you can order beer and wine to the room along with cocktails in a can. That's interesting, they have an old fashioned one and then spirits. Oh, and then on the back here, you can stock your fridge with different beverages. And then they also have snacks that you can buy as well. But that's it. Pretty solid menu for room service. Room service for lunch and dinner. The hours are from 11 a.m. until 11 o'clock p.m. And then I found out you can order some breakfast all day. And then over here, they have breakfast in the morning and those hours are from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m. I noticed here on the door, there's two different peepholes. I wonder if this one on the bottom is for the little ones or accessible needs. Either way, that's neat. And this is your do not disturb sign. I'm noticing more theming as the night goes on here. Look at the sink handles. They look like music notes. Wow, wow, wow. This room service was amazing. The service, it was a very nice experience, but a plus. it was a plus. Bianca got the legendary bacon cheeseburger, mm -hmm. onion rings on the side. The onion rings were supposed to be on the burger. And then for her side, instead of french fries, she got a Caesar salad. I got the kids chicken tenders. And I mean, look at this, that's a lot of food. And then that's Bianca's stuff for her burger. And then I also got a house salad with vinaigrette. And the dressing is over there. Ketchup, honey mustard. And then for dessert, we got this layered chocolate cake. And my goodness, it looks amazing. And then it came with two waters and utensils and plates. Heck yeah, let's dig in. We did bring our zero sugar sodas from home to enjoy here with dinner. That food was wonderful, that was a joy. We really enjoyed that, but we got the itis now. We're just gonna call it an early night and pick up the pace and the fun tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, it is now the next day. Let me tell you, we slept like babies. That bed was extremely comfortable, plus it was quiet. We really have been enjoying this room and this hotel. It's been great so far. I did call down to the front desk just to see if we could possibly get late checkout and we just got a call back. We have until 1 p.m. I don't know if this is every day, but I have heard through the grapevine, through a few team members here working at the Hard Rock that the last few days have not been busy here at the Hard Rock because like I've been telling you guys, it's the slower season right before the summer rush. So that's awesome that we get a little extra time. That way we don't have to rush. So we're actually going to head downstairs, 
find some breakfast, come back up to the room, pack up, chill, and then head over to Islands of Adventure to finish off our staycation. We are going to check out the kitchen for breakfast. I think we are going to do the buffet. They have various pastries here. Those donuts look pretty good. Fruit, cereal, what's over here? More fruit, yogurt, milk, and then moving along here, house made whipped cream, they have a fruit compote, pancakes, french toast, ooh, scrambled eggs, they have biscuits and gravy, and then over here, they have oatmeal, grits, hot sticky buns, oh my goodness gracious, it is hard to be healthy here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, corned beef hash, sausages, bacon, breakfast potatoes and they have an omelet station I'm just going to order myself some egg whites but this is nice that they have this option here I ordered orange juice and this is freshly squeezed orange juice just finished breakfast at the kitchen but I wanted to have a quick walkthrough here in the marketplace they have more grab-and-go items like cereal noodles beverages candy oh you can order some hot stuff from 11 a.m. until midnight. Oh, you can order coffee over here. They have some breakfast croissants to go. They have some gluten-free options over here. They also have a Coca-Cola freestyle machine. And over here, they have various pastries and such, fruit, and then more beverages. Made it back up to the room. Breakfast at the kitchen was pretty good for a buffet. You know, we don't really get to enjoy many buffets anymore. So it was pretty nice just having so many options. And I still liked how I could order, you know, my healthier food like egg whites and such. So that was nice. But we're going to pack up now, hang out. It's a little after 11 a.m. now. Still can't believe we got late checkout. I think we're just going to put our bags back in the car because I've already paid for my daily parking which was $28 and then we're going to head over to Islands of Adventure for a few hours to use more of our Universal Express Unlimited passes. Wow, way to go, babe. Just, you know, helping out housekeeping a little bit. Yeah. I took all the, the pillowcases off and the bedding. And all we just want to help expedite I guess time for the housekeepers because Absolutely. I know they're busy and Absolutely. they allowed us to stay a little longer today yeah, and so we're thank grateful. You. Yes. Goodbye theme park view. We are en route to Islands of Adventure now. I did want to quickly mention if you are going over to Volcano Bay, they do offer buses to get you over there. All right, and here we are approaching Islands of Adventure. I have to say I have not seen the Universal theme parks not this crowded in a very long time. It's kind of weird and bizarre, right? I love it though. I do too. As a local coming here and it's yeah. not that busy and you can actually enjoy all the rides. It's a lot of fun. I forgot what that feeling felt like. <laughs> it's wonderful. Mm, did you crack the code? I think we did. We were going to uh, <laughs> hop on the Hulk, but uh, we have a, a story to tell, a quick story. My anxiety got the best of me. Well, that too. But the last few times we've ridden the Hulk, we've both semi passed out. Some like from the G-force. We would be on it, and then I I just remember waking up. I'm like, wait a minute, did I just pass out? Oh, there so, it goes. There it goes. Oh, I missed it. Where's that? Somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so instead, let's go do Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And away we go. Next up, let's go check out the brand new Universal Orlando Passholder Lounge, which just opened a few days ago. We got our new Passholder Magnets. This month it's themed to Jurassic Park because the 30th anniversary is coming up. Oh good, the Arctic Coke machine has returned to the Passholder Lounge. You can purchase a Coke or a Sprite or a Powerade, and then you can put it here and it will freeze it and it will turn it into like a slushy. I feel like they added a lot more seating inside of this lounge. These tables have outlets and USB ports. And then over here, you have a few high tops and then they have a ton of pass holder merchandise. I'm just going to walk around to give you a good idea to what they have in here. I think I may purchase a Coca-Cola Freestyle Souvenir Tumbler. It's $17.99 and I can fill it up all day. Some lanyards, pins, fanny packs, 
That's a cool lady shirt. And then behind me, you just have some generic and standard Universal Orlando merchandise and sandals just in case you get wet or you need a pair. We've been at home watching all of the Kong movies recently, so let's go have a ride on Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Standby only has a 15 minute wait right now. This woman scares us so much. This is such an incredible animatronic though. Just got off Kong. I really do enjoy that ride. I don't get to ride it as much as I would like to, so riding it today was very nice. We rode in the back row, and let me tell you, that massive Kong animatronic at the end of the attraction, it's incredible. I think that is my favorite animatronic at any theme park. It's that impressive. What the heck? This right here should just tell you how the parks are right now. The Velocicoaster only has a 25 minute wait and it's going on 1 p.m. Easy, easy. The Velocicoaster, hands down, that is my favorite coaster ever. That is so incredibly fast and thrilling and fun. Plus, it's a long coaster. Next up, let's go have a ride on Forbidden Journey. Decided to make a quick stop inside of Hogshead to get us a vegan butterbeer. They have Hogshead and Dragon Scale both on tap. Cheers, my love. Cheers, babe. Passing by Hagrid's and right now the standby line has a 60 minute wait. We are now taking the Hogwarts Express over to Diagon Alley. By the way, Bianca's raspberry tea, this may be the best raspberry tea I've ever had. It's that good. Just like that, we're back inside of Universal Studios, Florida. I feel like we were just here. Walking down Hollywood Boulevard right now, there's Betty Boop, but I wanted to point out, this is where the old Passholder Lounge used to be here inside of this park. And rumor is, this is going to be the next summer tribute store, and this is going to be a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary tribute store. I think Minion Mayhem is going to be our last attraction for this trip, but I wanted to point out, Look, Universal has removed all of the scrim that used to be here around the front facade of the house where you first enter this attraction. Looks like they just did some paint work and made it look nice and pretty. All right, Universal, until next time, we are going to take the walkway back over to the Hard Rock and I will talk to you guys once we make it back home. We have made it home safe and sound and we were talking in the car just now. We really did not want this staycation to be over with because we had so much fun and we just felt very relaxed. Again, this was our first time staying at the Hard Rock. This has been on our Universal Orlando bucket list for a long time. So I'm very happy that I can now check this off of the list. I have stayed at just about every single Universal Orlando hotel. I still need to stay at Portofino Bay and Sapphire Falls. I want to end today's video just going over our review of the Hard Rock. I want to tell you guys some things that we loved and let you know about some things we did not really care for at this hotel. We loved the convenience and the location. I enjoyed the pool. I enjoyed that you have so many different food options just at this hotel. Plus you can just walk over to City Walk, walk over to the parks and have more food options. Or you can even walk over to Portofino Bay. And something that I did just find out, if you are staying at a Universal Premier Hotel, you can actually just walk back and forth and use both pools at Portofino Bay and Hard Rock. Plus you can walk over to World Pacific and use their pool. Did not know that. If we were staying for another night, I would have definitely walked over to Portofino Bay today to enjoy their pool. I also really enjoyed how cozy and quiet our room was. I really liked the little theme park view that we had from our room and those beds were extremely comfortable. I did not want to wake up this morning. The room service was great and the amenities were great. And I mean, you just cannot beat the perks that you get by staying at a Universal Orlando Premier Hotel such as that included included Universal Express unlimited passes and that is worth it on its own right there I mean the value is unreal and it's kind of unmatched that you get those Express passes and that's my biggest tip for any of you who are planning on coming here to Universal for a vacation 
try to budget the cost of a premier hotel into your budget because again you get those um express passes i mean those were great oh yeah and if you're staying at any of the universal Atlanta hotels not just the premier hotels you get early entry to one of the parks on that specific morning depending on what day you're staying at the resort so one day it could be islands of adventure like it was today or the next day it could be universal studios florida there's only three things that we really did not care for at the hard rock the first one i do feel like the rooms are a bit outdated i feel like they could use a refresh and i have stayed at better universal orlando hotel rooms the two that instantly come to mind i still really love the aventura i love those rooms they're very new and very fresh and the second one i really still do enjoy world pacific i do feel like those rooms are a bit better than the hard rock rooms but again i really just feel like you're paying for that convenience in the location by staying at the hard rock the second one i did really enjoy the pool but i do feel like it was very 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 loud like we could not hear each other at times and it was pretty challenging to just lay out by the pool and enjoy and try to take a nap because you had the live dj on top of the very loud bass music that's constantly being played at the pool but it was still nice. It was just very loud. The last thing is the Palm restaurant. They did not offer room service. And even if I wanted to just walk down there and order, I could not do that. When I called down and I was like, hey, can I place an order? They just told me you can place an order, but you have to do it on their website. And then I could come pick it up or I could even get it on DoorDash or Uber Eats. But I would still have to go down there to pick it up. I just wish they would just bring it up to the room. I don't mind paying a higher price to have it delivered because we got room service last night. It was still, you know, pricey because they add that 22% service charge and the tip plus an extra $3 delivery fee. And then if you want to tip extra, you can do that. So either way, room service is expensive, but to us, it is worth it because we, when we do these staycations and even these vacations, we want to just enjoy the room as much as we can. Plus, we were a little tired, so room service is just nice to have. You just pick up the phone, call down, tell them what you want. They bring it right up to you and they just charge it back to the room. But that's my review. We enjoyed it. We will stay at the Hard Rock Orlando again. I think the only time we will consider staying at the Hard Rock again will be during Halloween Horror Nights because, again, you just have that very easy convenience. I do hope that I was able to help you plan out your next Universal Orlando vacation. Have you ever stayed at the Hard Rock Orlando? Do you plan to? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming.